If you're starting your own Zoom meeting, here's what you do. You go over here to New Meeting and click on it, and you pop up on the screen right away. Now, join with Computer Audio. You want people to be able to hear you, and then come down here to Manage Participants. Over here, you'll see yourself as the host, and you can come down here to Invite. So this allows you to invite contacts or send via email, but if you look right up here, this shows the meeting number. You need that number, and look down here, you need the password. You can send those two things via email or text message, and then others will be able to join your meeting. Another option is to just click on one of the email services and send them an email. Now, to let people join, you come over here and click Admit. Hey, hi. Hi. What's the meeting? Okay, so obviously when people are at home, there's lots of background noise and it can get pretty noisy. If you come down here to the bottom, you can mute all. That mutes everyone in your group. Now, they do have the option to unmute themselves, so you guys can still, you can still hear me, right? So go down and see if you can figure out how to unmute yourself. You wave it around in the bottom left corner, you'll see the mute button. It should be crossed out. Hey, Connor got it, right? Yep, yeah, I can hear you. There you go. So you can unmute yourself and then mute yourself back again, which if you have a large group of people, that's usually pre pretty Bye. beneficial to do. Bye. Bye. Good to see Bye. you. Bye. I don't know how to get out of it. All right, to so hang up, you go. Oh, there it is. Leave the median. Okay. Bye. And if you're the host and you want to end the meeting, just come and click right here. Hopefully you get to see your family and any loved ones. Amanda Kinsett, ABC 15 News.